Welcome to part two of our mini series looking at speech to text or speech recognition APIs and how you can easily add them into your bubble app. In part one, we began by uh, working through the assembly AI API documentation and we have two uh, we have two calls uh, in our API connector for assembly AI. Uh, one is to send off our audio file, and then the other one is to, uh, once the, uh, assembly AI has finished processing the file, we fetch the results. Remember, this is different to whisper. You don't get the response back as you wait. You have to check in once the uh, transcript is complete. Um, but you can uh, automate this process using webhooks. So if we go back into the assembly AI documentation, we can look at the section called using webhooks. And uh, we, by looking in at this example here, we can see that uh, we can add in a webhook into our JSON. Um, so this is basically saying when we send out our, say our MP3 file that we want uh, transcribed, we say when you have it ready, let this endpoint know uh, that the file is ready. Um, so uh, I'm going to add it in here. In fact, I'm going to add in a space just so that the JSON is a little bit clearer. Um, okay, and then uh, comma. And by webhook, uh, I'm going to make this dynamic uh, so that uh, it is adaptive to whether I'm using my uh, development or test version of my bubble app uh, or my live version. So I'm just going to call this uh, webhook. Webhook URL. So how do I set that up? The inbound webhook. Uh, well, I go in uh, and I go on to API and I enable uh, the API, uh, workflow API and backend uh, workflows. And that then gives me an option up here. And now I create a new API workflow. Uh, and I'm going to call this uh, inbound, inbound transcript. Uh, I have to um, write it without spaces if I'm going to make it a public API, which I, I need to have in order for Whisper to be able uh, to sorry, not whisper, assembly AI, uh, to be able to send the, uh, the notification to me. I'm then going to say uh, uh, run without authentication uh, because uh, the assembly webhook is not going to um, be able to authenticate. Um, so I just want to do it. You might want to obscure the endpoint. I mean, there is the chance that someone could send data into your app um, if they were to guess this. Uh, it's up to you to judge how risky that is. Um, but for this demonstration, we're going to uh, have it public and ha have it run without authentication. Um, and uh, I now need to demo that. So uh, I'm going to change this to detect request, copy this, um, in actual fact, open this in a new tab. I'm doing this because I, I need to teach bubble what the inbound request looks like and the easiest way to do that is to use detect um, but that's only in detection mode while this uh, box is up um, i'm then, then going to go into my apis and my assembly ai api and uh, right here we go so my webhook url i paste into there and uh, i'm going to uh, reinitialize so this is going to upload my tiny audio file again that I'm demoing this process with. Uh, and this time it's also supplying the webhook and we can see that the status is queued. I'm then gonna go uh, back over here and because it's a very small file, actually assembly AI has responded incredibly quickly. And so it's told me that the status for this transcript ID is now complete. What do I do next? Well, I go and fetch the transcript ID. And how do I do that? Well, I've already set up the API call. I did this in the earlier video to get a process transcript. And because it is an action, I can go into workflow and I can go plugins, uh, get processed transcript. And instead of uh, it being the, the test data I used, um, I can use uh, data request transcript ID because that is the data that assembly AI are putting into this endpoint. I then send back another request that gets my transcript. And for the sake of uh, making it simple, I'm going to save it uh, as a message and uh, content. 
this is set up from a previous video where I was, I was demoing um, ChatGPT, um, but I'm just gonna test it using this content and then text. Okay, so that should work. I should uh, be able to upload my file. I should then be able to be notified by Assembly AI uh, through this webhook endpoint, um, communicating into my bubble app. I should then send a outbound request for the transcript using the transcript ID and I'll create a new message with uh, the content of my uh, speech to text. Let's test it. So uh, I'm going to uh, here again uh, say uh, reinitialize call. My file is uploaded. Ah, okay, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Uh, I need to get rid of initialize here. Right, reinitialize the call. You can see that it's been queued up. Uh, and then I think I can just go into data, uh, app data, messages. And uh, this is all from a previous demo um, where I was using the uh, GPT-4. Uh, but there we go, yeah, we saw that come in in front of our eyes. Uh, so I can then confidently say that every step of my workflow is working. Um, I think this is where we're gonna wrap up part two. Uh, in part three, I'm going to demo how to create this on the front end uh, to enable a user to upload a file or maybe even record a file and then uh, send it off to the assembly AI and display the results back to the user.